Okay, guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Hey, girl. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we actually have a lot of new subs here. So everyone say welcome to the girls. Everyone say welcome to the girls. Hope you guys stay for a while. So tomorrow's gonna be a jam-packed freaking day. So I figured I would just give you a little brief this Thursday. So it's Thursday night. We was working today. I'm in nursing school if y'all didn't know. My hair is so nappy right now. And there are some things you just can't miss. Like, you know? So in nursing school, clinical, you don't miss and simulation you only get scheduled one simulation like per semester like you have to go to it no ifs ands or buts like you pick the time you go to and that's it so anyway mine was this morning and i actually scheduled for it about like three weeks ago so <laughs> i got a new agenda book last week and i forgot to transfer the day of my simulation to my new agenda book and also i put it in my calendar in my phone but I set the alert for only one hour before the event. So, um, yeah, I had simulation this morning. It was at 9.45. My ass wakes up at eight o'clock and I'm just like, hmm, what a lovely day. Like, nothing to do, nothing to get up for. Like, right now, this moment. So I'm gonna just lay in bed. You know, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. It's 8 a.m. Like, amazing, the birds are chirping. And I left my phone on Do Not Disturb and I just let it sit there. I didn't go on my phone, I was just like detached, just like living in the moment, it was amazing. Um, and then I drifted out of sleep and I ended up literally looking at my phone at 9.45 in the morning. And that's exactly when the simulation was. And right when I clicked my phone, I saw that the alert went off at 8.45. And I didn't click my phone once between 8.45 and 9.45 to see that like I had an hour to drive 20 minutes to school. I'm getting myself mad thinking about it again. So basically, I totally, it was an L. It was an L, it was an L. And I can't believe I missed Sim. Like, I can't believe I missed Sim. Yeah, I'm still waiting to hear back from the queen of the nursing program before she fucking fires me from a program. But um, I heard from a friend of a friend that if you miss them, you just have to do like a really long paper, which is just like, oh. <laughs> That's how we started off today. And basically, it made me feel like I was a shitty student and I just needed to be productive. So I was hella productive. But tomorrow we have class, our first in-person Friday class. It sounds like they're gonna make me do some leadership shit and I just like, it's not my vibe. We'll see how it goes. It's tomorrow at 8 a.m. so I figured I would take you guys with me. So we have three campaigns we need to film tomorrow. Um, we got a skims order we're gonna open tomorrow. Like, okay, funness. We have dinner reservations with the girls tomorrow. We're going out to the dinner and then we're going roller skating, so. <laughs> I'm about to actually play Fortnite with my little brother. <laughs> my quarantine gift to myself was the Switch. I'm updating Fortnite right now. We about to play some Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. If y'all want to subscribe, next weekly vlog, we're going to Fashion Week. So, oh wait, by the time you see this vlog, we'll be it'll be Sunday that I'm in Fashion Week. So y'all probably already saw some pictures on Instagram. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys already saw some of the sneak peek of what the Fashion Week is looking like. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm on tune with my schedule. See, I'm on tune. I invited you. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, there's so many. How many level ups am I, Asher? Is this like? Let me see. I have to keep clicking through all this stuff. Is this all the stuff I claim? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from like a long time. Jeez. Hey. Honestly, I don't. I have never played on the Switch controller, so cut me some slack. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Asher, the echo. That's your friend. <laughs> Tell them to mute their mic. Bro. Asher, I don't know how to use these controls. I don't know how to open the map and I'm still falling. <laughs> I'm trying to find where the map is on the switch. Oh no. Damn. Dang, I got ran up on. You guys are so far away from me. Okay, whatever, bye. Dang, they left my ass. 
Anyway, I got these headphones, 25 bucks. I got these a while ago, never used them. Um, ow. These are cute. And they have a little mic extension, period. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Like it's the way that I spent like 200 bucks on a headset and like they, they were just as nice. Oh, I'm playing with my little brother, by the way. Asher. <laughs> I know what happened. I know what happened. <laughs> oh. oh my God, I can hear them. My name is Michael to the hella landing. Waking up on a rainy day is one of the hardest tasks on demand. All right, y'all. We pulled up the Chick-fil-A. I just got done class. Um, it was a pretty good class. We're doing like basically a research paper. Ooh, we pulled up the Chick-fil-A right now. <laughs> I, okay, wait, let me just stay on one topic for a second. The teacher's very sweet, very sweet. He gives me ratatouille. I don't know why, like just very sweet mouse. Old man, gray hair, he gives me sweet mouse, man. <laughs> I don't know why he assigned groups and me and Autumn got in the same fucking group. And it was based off of like specialty. So I did OB, GYN, labor and delivery, you know, just the whole mother baby. So we basically had to pick like three topics we wanted to talk about and like advocate for. So we definitely focused on the uh, maternal mortality rate for black women, which is like exponentially so much higher than any other race. Like it's kind of mind blowing. I have to get my statistics right before I like spit some tea at y'all. But I'm pretty sure it's like, three times more likely to die as a black woman giving birth for so many different reasons. And I'm taking community health right now too, so it's kind of like, I understand those social disparities, such as like being higher risk for so many other things, for being a minority, for living in lower income societies. And like, you know, there's just a lot of reasons why and like we need to work on it. That's one of them. We're doing postpartum hemorrhage. We were between that one and like postpartum depression studies. And then the last one is for breastfeeding. I feel like that's a big conversation that's not had enough. Like they talk about like, yes, when you have birth, when you have birth, you're gonna breastfeed your baby, especially the first like day, because you have like that gold, that liquid gold, you know what I'm saying? All this good immune in the colostrum and the first breastfeed for your baby. But it's not just easy sailing after that. Like a lot of women struggle. Maybe some of you guys watching this have gone through that. Just like being a mother and wanting to feed your new baby and like it's and you can't like oh that just like breaks my heart those were our three topics and that's gonna be our project for the semester so i'll let you guys know what we end up going with which one would you guys choose which one would you guys choose to focus on my bestie anaya she always gets this cheese this egg and cheese biscuit from chick-fil-a for breakfast autumn recommended to get the chicken biscuit things with honey I don't know, I love like a sausage egg and cheese, so I'm like, dang, they don't do no sausage here. I think I see, they do! Oh, period, I'm getting a, is that wrong though to get a Chick-fil-A? Like what, they have a sausage egg and cheese? And bacon? I just feel like that's like against their policy. Isn't it no more, eat more chicken with the cow? Like you really have a sausage egg and cheese? Listen, I'm not mad. Can I get french fries? Is it too early? Like, ooh. My butter's at one, so we'll do a taste test next. Biggest L. <laughs> it's 10 45 breakfast is done at 10 30 oh my gosh and like i'm not about to eat a spicy chicken sandwich and french fries right now like no so i got a fucking wrap because i didn't like i don't want to eat that right now oh my god i'm so sad 
fine, we'll taste test it. I'm sure it's amazing, but like, so fine. Fine! Fine! <laughs> this looks sad. You guys. What is it giving? Hospital. <laughs> I'm sad right now. All these people, oh my god, they're walking right by me. Hold on. I'm not gonna take my first bite with intruders. <laughs> hey. Okay. Mmm! Woo! That was a lot of taste in one second. Whoa. You know what? That's exactly what I wanted right now. <laughs> Let's try this avocado ranch. Whoa. Also, I was just listening to this audio message. Please, I'm crying. Hey girl, so I don't know if you're ever gonna see this. It might be weird for me to even be sending you this message, but I'm gonna take the risk. And I just wanna let you know, like, I found you on TikTok and I'm obsessed. Like, I don't, we, we don't know each other, but we will one of these days. We this is what I needed. Like, you're just so, like, inspirational. And again, like, this might be weird. This might be like coughing about Girl, no! But I just couldn't not say anything. Because you're amazing, and I need you to know that. If you like, what? <gasps> this message right now was too much in the morning. Like, have me cheesing so hard right now. <laughs> Um, like y'all's messages, I feel like as much as you guys can relate to me, like I can relate to you. That's so crazy. That just made me happy, okay? I'm happy that we can be there for each other. That's like my go-to response. It's like, I'm so happy we can be there for each other like this because just as much as like you say that I'm helping you and whatever it is, like you're helping me. You're giving me motivation. You're making me feel good about myself. And just wanting to return it even more like you know what i'm saying like it's a very symbiotic relationship mm. the flavors are melting on my tongue okay after this we're gonna hit the mall we have to go to sephora and pick up some stuff but once we get home we're gonna film I, we have three campaigns to film today okay we're gonna be hustling and bustling and also i would like to start editing my youtube stuff and also get some more homework done but i don't think there's enough time in this day <laughs> mm. so anyway see you guys at sephora sephora <laughs> y'all i haven't been in the mall <laughs> forever it feels so weird oh damn my grandma got me a coach gift card for my birthday i forgot there's coach here let me see what's popping. Cause maybe I'll come back. No, cause I love Coach. Honestly, I've seen everyone have these, so I don't. I'm not really a fan of these. This little one is cute though. Oof, this one is cute. I love that. So these ones are a little too deep for me though. It's like a saggy bag. <laughs> this is a hundred bucks. Hmm. Nothing's really screaming at me. I really do like this one though. But this would be 400 out of pocket. Okay, a little discount. This one's kind of cute. I like the style of bag, like the little square tote. I forgot there was an entire coach store in the mall, actually. I forgot. Dang, I haven't been here in a minute. The Valentine's stuff looks so cute, though. Dang, I forgot to show you guys when I was in there. <laughs> but it's actually a really nice time to go shopping right now. Like, everyone's just chilling. Okay, so I took a shower. It's like... 1 p.m. I think now. Yeah, it's 1 p.m. now. Oh my gosh. And my friend Autumn, how many times am I going to talk about her this vlog? Damn. But she gets her brows done. Damn, I want to blow dry my hair. Can I talk to you and blow dry my hair? Damn, I can't. Yeah, Autumn, she gets her brows done by this girl at Ulta. And I'm pretty sure she's from the Benefit Brow Bar. And her work looks insane. And Autumn's brows always look insane. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I think I might get my brows done again by her. And then I saw her Instagram page and I was like, yeah, I definitely need to get my brows done by her. I messaged her this morning and I was thinking like, maybe I can get them done before fashion week next week. So they're fresh. Um, but then she said she had a time available at 3 p.m. today. At first I was like, no, I'll still get them done next week. Then I was in the shower and I was like, wait, like, I don't know. I just really want to get them done right now. And I asked mom and she was like, do it. And I was like, damn, okay. Now that mom says do it. I already told her like I was thinking next week. So I messaged her again at like 12.30. I was like, hey, actually, can I follow you up if that three, point, 
3 p.m. appointment is still available today. And now it's like almost 1.30 and I haven't heard back from her. And I'm like itching now. I'm like, now that she's not answering, I'm like, I need to get my brows done today. Like I need to get them done today. I'm like, I'm holding back every cell in me to triple text her right now because that's just unprofessional. And like, I'm supposed to book through the Ulta website, but the 3 p.m. avail, like the 3 p.m. Oh my God, I can't get this part. The 3 p.m. time slot isn't there. So I'm like, did I miss it? Or she didn't put it on the website and like someone canceled. And like, she's just saying it. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm nervous and I really wanna get my brows done today now. I'm like, do I triple text her right now? <laughs> um, other than that, we're about to open the Skims order. So let's try on, I think what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna film the TikTok while I'm recording for YouTube. So like YouTube will just get a longer try on haul. So this is how I film it. I have the little tripod right there and I'm just gonna sit on the bed. Since this, this worked for me last time with a try on haul. So let's see, I love me a good Skims box. Oh, this whole thing is a Skims box. I thought there was gonna be a box inside the box. Dang, what did I get? No, y'all are fine. Y'all are fine, right? Let's see. Should we try the sweatsuit on first? Yeah. No. I ordered a sweatsuit from her new outdoor collection. Okay, got the hoodie. And I got the pants in a large, because I like my sweatpants baggy. And I don't know how Kim K was coming with the stretch on these. Yeah. I'm glad I got a large. Love this color. It's a cropped little hoodie too, it's cute. So basically what I do is I open everything first and then I'll try everything on after and then I'll like mash the clips together. So these are the cotton rib tanks. Oh, I got the slip dress. I could have swore I removed this from my cart. Oh my gosh. I got the slip dress. <laughs> I'm scared. Sand and the color sand. Oh my gosh, I'm shook. I didn't, I thought I took this out my cart. Maybe that's why it was $500. Now this one, I'm pretty sure this is part of her outdoor. Okay. Oh, these look tiny. <laughs> yeah, this is my first t-shirt from Skims, period. Love this, it's giving easy. Well, actually. And these last two I know I already love. So I just got another pair of the leggings. I freaking love these. I got them in Heather Gray. Got them in a size medium. With the ripped tank, I wear these literally every day. And then this is a new color. This color looks stunning on the website. It's called Kyanite. It's like the cyan blue. If you know Minecraft, you know cyan, you know? I don't know about y'all, but that's where I learned of that color. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm so hyped. Okay, so now let's get to trying them on. Yo, I got some good stuff. I can't believe I got that slip dress. Like, I could have swore I took that out the cart. Oh my god, look at my on the TV. <laughs> That's like, oh my god, I should have fucking changed that. By the way, I did triple text. <laughs> so, you see what Miss Girl says. I'm like, I will pay you double. Please take me today. I'm like, okay. First impression, I'm not gagging over the feeling. I'm gagging over the texture. It's kind of stiff. Why are we stiff? No. Oh, I don't know. The sweatpant. <laughs> no. Okay, wait. I don't think they're. I don't think these sweatpants. I don't think the sweatsuit is worth the purchase. For the loom, it's getting for the loom. Stiff. Through the loom. Like, I don't know. No, I wasted my money on these pants for real. I like the hoodie. I can see myself with the hoodie. Don't worry about the hoodie, but the sweatpants. Yeah, the slip dress. You can definitely see through this whole thing. <gasps> They'll just take away from the whole thing. I feel like I can't even see it. It's my wall. The fucking sticky notes, like what? Well, how about I just put a bra on, Monet? Damn, like, look at me, big brain. Maybe put a fucking bra on. <laughs> like, I just like, I don't wear bras so much that like I forget they exist sometimes. It looks really good with a bra. It looks way better with a bra. 
Okay. It's a really nice stretch. I feel like it's really light because I be getting so hot when I sleep. Like, I'm gonna just be looking like day when I sleep. I'm gonna just be looking cute because this is my vibe. Oh, this, I'm giving Kim K as, I'm giving Kim K as, I'm giving Kim K as, I love this one. Could have gotten maybe a size bigger though. I don't like when it cuts my thighs like that. I love something like casual like this. These are the type of sets that I abuse. I could definitely see myself getting this in like every color. Just with some like high socks and some sneakers and a little pair of sunglasses and like a little bag. This is like one of the few things from Skims that I could actually wear at the house. Oh my gosh. This is way better in a size medium. Well, okay, so I got these leggings in a small before and they really were like on the waist. And it's cute, but like they like fold. You know what I'm saying? And like it just like wasn't comfy to sleep in. Oh, I love these ones. Still deciding if it was a good move to get the medium. Like this is really, like I don't wanna have to wear them all the way up here for it to be like, maybe I could have gotten a different color because I do have this one in like the off white. I don't know, I'm not loving this one. I think cause I got it in a medium. Yeah, yeah, yes. I love this color, Her. Color. Uh, yeah, I think I think the boxer tank top sets are my favorite. Just make the most sense for sleeping. Like this is what I wear to sleep. Love this one, Miss Cyan. Miss Minecraft. Yeah, guys. Everyone say hello to Kyanite. We're gonna be seeing a lot of her. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. But I'm happy with what I got. I think the only thing is like the sweatsuit. It's like, why did I spend I don't even know how much those pants were. 50 bucks probably. 50 bucks on those fucking sweatpants that are giving Hanes. And Hanes even does better than that. Or Fruit of the Loom, I don't know. Even Walmart when they used to have Champion. That's so crazy that Champion used to be in Walmart. And now it's like, now we just have to wait to see if the brow girl answers, please. <laughs> please. So we'll see, because honestly my brows look kind of crazy, guys. I haven't gotten them done since the NARS vlog in September. Anyone remember that? Did anyone watch that vlog when I was talking about my brows? That was like, oof. Actually, no, I think I cropped it all out because I was just complaining the whole time. I was so sick. She did them so skinny, like this girl in the mall. When I would get them threaded and she did them so skinny. Vlog! <laughs> yes! 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 Okay. She texted, oh my gosh. She texted at like two and she was like, hey boo, sorry, someone took the 3 p.m. I was like, it's totally okay, I understand. I understand you're booked and busy and you're that girl. I was like, I'll pay double if you have any flexibility today, but just let me know, no sweat for real, like no pressure. Like, I understand how busy she is and I really appreciate her time. She was like, I'm on lunch break right now. Like, I'll let you know if anyone cancels or if I have any free time, like, and I, and I was like, oh my gosh, please, like, don't sweat it. Just let me know, like, just let me know because I'll be there. <laughs> And she just messaged me. My heart just dropped. She said, it's it's 2.55 right now. She said, if you can come in at 3.20, I can fit you in. I literally answered within the millisecond. I said, oh my God, say less. I'll be there. So that means I have to leave in 10 minutes. <gasps> yes. Yes, you guys. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. Let's get a good before visual of these brows. Oh my God, she's going to eat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we up a close and personal. And the pimple is still here, guys. It's a whole vlog later. The pimple is, it's not giving up. My brows have a, I'm grateful for the shape that my brows like to do. I think they fit my face. I feel like our brows will naturally grow to fit our face how they're supposed to. But I just feel like she's gonna like take them out of this world. I'm so excited. Like I feel like all of these stray hairs right here, oh my gosh, are gonna be snatched away. I hope she doesn't mind that I'm filming. Like, I'm gonna bring y'all with me. I think I'm actually gonna do a TikTok instead. Oh my God, I'm so excited. She really said yes. Do I wear this suit with these shades? Because like, they're blue and like, I love these shades. You know, the Switch ones from Desi. Like, let's get dressed. Let's just get dressed right now because I'm so excited. Maybe I just wear the sweatsuit. Like, full skimmed out. She'd be like, girl, dang. 
Okay, so I'm doing the brown jacket. I'm gonna do the blue. I don't think these sweats match, but I really don't think like, I don't really think it matters that much. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so these are the brows before. Definitely homegrown, definitely overgrown. Mm -hmm. And now she's gonna start marking my brows. Okay, so this eyebrow is a little bit less full than this eyebrow. That's yeah. what I'm noticing right away. I like this one better. Mm-hmm. You have a little bit more shape on that one. Mm -hmm. So we need to grow up this one a little bit, but we're just doing really a cleanup. Yeah, I think it's the tail. It's like more it's the tail. brows like this because they're super full. Yeah. <gasps> Instagram. I get to make the gram? <laughs> <gasps> yes. <laughs> and just like rip the whole thing at once. That's so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. My birthday's in January. Mm -hmm. I had a weird feeling. I was like, what's no your birthday? I was just gonna ask you, like, when's your birthday? Like, <laughs> I worked on my birthday. You know? it's, it's crazy, girl. Yeah. Know, like, Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm usually with threading. I would do every two weeks. I think I didn't have makeup on, huh? <laughs> what's this one called? Brow microfilling pen. Yes. It's so good. Oh! They look thick! Like, how did she give me brows? She took my brows and gave me brows. Oh my god. Ciao. I love them. Is that pimple so obvious on my forehead, though? I think when she waxed it, the pimple, like, just, like, erupted. Oh my gosh. Let me just focus on the road. Damn. Ah, how do they look? Defined. I'm excited just to like wake up tomorrow and just see what they look like raw. She filled them in a little bit and I ended up buying the brow product, the Benefit Micro Brow. Dang, I really, she was so freaking sweet. I already knew it, she was so sweet. She was so soft and just so gentle. <laughs> and I really, ooh, and I really appreciated her slipping me in because she is booked and busy. It's February 3rd. She has no availability for the whole rest of February. I was like, I am so honored to be sitting in this chair right now. Like, seriously? Thank you so much. My next appointment, her girls usually book every four weeks. So, okay, we gonna be seeing Allie. We gonna be seeing Allie every four weeks. They're giving me reefy. They're giving me reefy brow. They're a little strong. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show my mom. That was amazing. I'm so happy that worked out. Mom, you wanna see? <laughs> oh, honey, they look great. Do you I, think like to, them? I think you have to see in the bathroom. I, girl, I need to back up here. She did a really good job. I know. Wow, she even like trimmed them, you know? You she even way. trimmed them. I'm staring in the mirror like, oh my god, she filled them in. So I'm like, I'm excited to see what they like tomorrow when I fresh wake up, like fresh face. Yeah. But they look fucking, like she gave me more eyebrows. Like I got them waxed yeah. and I came back with more eyebrows. It does look like that. Girl. Y'all see that mess? It's cause I need it a wax looks bald. It. it looks bald. They're gonna be like, well, what is she talking about? But I swear we're hairy. It's just, oh, shit. waxing just makes it come back real thin. Well, it makes my pimples look extra pimply because my face looks so like snatched like these pimples look crazy and also like I have that one right there period hey vlog I'm ready oh wait honey I got my eyebrows done oh I saw they looked crisp look Oh, did you go to the sink <gasps> for the first time in like forever? You're lying, cause you're like a strict like threader. Period. You've been like only threading for a minute. Period. I haven't got my brows waxed in like since I was 15. So how long was that? Like seven years. Yeah. That's crazy. But she ate. She's actually at Ulta. She's like at the. Oh, for real? Yeah, she's like at the, the brow bar thing. Yes. I didn't even know. Like I always seen it, but like I didn't know like what was popping there. Yeah. And yeah, she's at the brow bar, like the Benefit brow bar. Yeah. And yeah, she ate. So I was like, fine, refer me to your girl. Good. Thanks. Why do you not like them? Oh no, I love them. I was just showing oh. her off. Oh. Cause you went thanks. So I was like, is that like a thanks? Like <laughs> That's like a thanks. Like I know. Oh, yeah! <laughs> like, I already know. Hey, y'all, it's like, I don't even see you anymore. <laughs> this is like the setup. This is the trio. No. This is a weekly, deekly, weekly, deekly, pinkly, weekly, weekly. Right, oh,
was so annoying. We the what? We <laughs> <thickly. laughs> I like took it so far. <laughs> and I was like, ew. I'm actually kind of for gay. I like what she's oh, up yeah, here. That really so cool. Actually, wait. Was she here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a new one, actually. Wait. Oh, right there, right? I think it was there before. <gasps> Y'all are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> We're both like, oh, right, no. right there. This wait. is like perfect head level. I feel like I need to have that one again. This was yours last time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I like this oh, one. Yeah, I feel like I claim this ritual. one. Like, I feel like we have to stick to what it was and what it was. And what I was saying. Guys, look, you must look like big right now. Oh, oh that fresh oh, booty oh, pump. Like, oh. The fresh booty pump. Yup. Yeah. How's the gym? It was good. I've been going, I went this whole week. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm, no, I know I'm back in it. Like, he was really sweet. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. now I'm like, I'm gonna be awkward. Yeah. See, I don't know. Like, I feel like stuff like that, I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. Ah. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love a weirdo for some reason. I've had so many weird encounters too that I kind of soak them up. Like I'm fucked up in the brain. Though, so maybe I, I should. Maybe maybe that's. I just find it. I, I literally just find everything so hilarious. I'm like, wait, you're funny. I'm just weird. I'm, I'm weird. Just weird. No, you're normal. I'm weird. Like I should be running for the hills, concerned. You're like, like woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> you're like this side weird, and I'm like this side weird. <laughs> Like you're like absorbing it and like I'm just like oh my god like, like I can't take yeah. it and I'm like <laughs> oh, it up. You got it. <laughs> mm. That is really good. <gasps> I could literally drink that. It's mm. <laughs> kind of dangerous. Ooh, that one's kicking a little bit. Why do I feel like the bottom of a liquor bottle is always the worst? Like oh, it doesn't even make. I don't know if that even makes. Oh, sense. actually, yeah. I feel like that makes sense. Settles. It settles, it but prevents. You think? Yeah. That's one thing about me too is that I'll never shit on my old self. And like people like even when oh, they look at my never. old face and like, oh my god, you were so ugly or so fat. I'm like, excuse me, that was me, bitch. Like say that to me in the present time. How do I get the same way? I get offended when people yeah. say things about how I previously looked. I'm like, yeah. I mean, we can make a me. joke or two, but to like really grill and yeah. I'm like that's still that's the same me. person. It's like, oh my, you look so much better now. It's like, okay, but okay. I was her. Thank I you. Point. And on top of that, or I was you happy. always will be her. Yeah, right. Like you're always gonna be a little part of her, and that's like, exactly oh how she's in you forever. And that, that's oh, like oh, why you. I know. That's <laughs> like why you are who you are, though. Exactly. Your butt. <laughs> <laughs> we. The we should go thrifting. I, we I actually go would thrifting. go thrifting. My friend said she found a three hundred dollar purse at the thrift store for two dollars. Not two. Two dollars. Because they didn't know what like that it was because it was yeah. a people, designer. People, like, I thought nobody knew who it was. Did you see that? I know some TikToks. Maybe find it. Good. I see people get Prada. You can get old. Google. I know New York is a nice place to go like high end thrifting. Oh, I feel like that would okay, be lit. Okay, so we when we, we go need to have like a weekend yeah. and it's like. I don't even know. Like, do, yes. Why do I literally we should do like spring, hide away for like a week? I'm wait, so excited. Wait, we should Girl, do spring no. break. And spring break. Work. I really think we should. Spring because break. then we can get a place and go wait, to the rooftop whole, bars. The whole week? Or like a, no, no, no. I'm saying yes. She's like, no. Be, she's like, no, don't go back right now. <laughs> the whole week? Wait, that would be so fun. Dude, I like, just love and then to, like, we don't have away. to go somewhere else, yes. but it's going to be warm enough that we can start going out places yes. here. And then act like we live there, though. We can act like we live there. Though. Oh, uh, bitch. Yeah. But, like, it's our apartment. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I need to catch a train, y'all. Y'all stress me. Your mom was like, I don't know. We're going to swing, y'all. It's going to be We're going to have steak. So fucking cute. <laughs> hey, 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 ho, ho, hey, hey, go, 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 hey, 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 Seriously. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> silly 
This is too much. I, I can't watch your foot like slowly <laughs> slipping. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> triggering me. That was triggering me. I was like, can she fix her foot? <laughs> I gotta get a first bite. This is my first time having elote. Let's see. Oh. Holy shit. It's like cheesy corn. It's like cheesy corn. My eyes are watering. Oh wait, there's a lime in here. That's good. Come on. That's a dry ass lime. Is there a squeeze on? Not as acting like you can see. I can't see anything. Dude, I'm happy. I feel like <laughs> stop. You gotta send me those. I need cold in her flannel. She's shivering in her flannel. <laughs> the side eye. between dinner and like going out and like waiting for our moves and they was just playing games and they were like yeah we'll be here at 11 and it was like 9 50 when they said that they were going to be ready at 9 so i'm like what are the odds that they're actually ready at 11 they're very much going to hit us up at midnight or 1 a.m and be like we're here and we was yawning and shit just waiting ani's like i work tomorrow i'm like my bedtime is like 7 p.m. now. Ari's like, I gotta hit the gym tomorrow. I'm like, okay, we're giving women. We're giving grown women. Okay, Ani's calling. She left her bag, so I'm gonna grab this. <sighs> okay, I'm back. <sighs> I wish I just had these lashes on all the time. Cause now I'm about to look bold. Anyway, like very bold. <laughs> As of right now, I think I'm gonna make some chicken tenders, even though we literally had a full face. It was so good. But I can eat again. I have a little appetite. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning with my fresh, bold brows. I'm obsessed with them. Like, my brows are just gonna be the main character of this whole episode. Hey guys, happy Saturday! I actually didn't realize how crazy it looked <laughs> with just this lip on right now because I got a MAC package and Tell me why they sent me cork lip liner and i've heard of her my whole entire life and i was so sad i could never be on the wave i was like dang cork is like for the light skin girls it's like the perfect lip liner for the light skin girls and i never thought i could be a part of that club but the lip liner color i don't know if you can really see what it's doing but it but i'm a part of the gang i'm a part of the gang i'm part of the cork gang and I'm wearing a like an, a lipstick and a gloss on top. So it was just extra. I was just trying it out. And I have foundation on this cheek, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was just planning to make up this morning. So we're about to do coffee talk. As you hear that, John is brewing back there. Be making all that damn noise. I got a few questions. Don't forget to ask hashtag co coffee talk questions. I want to keep it going. So if you have any type of questions, leave them down below. Hashtag coffee talk. Period. Okay, this one is by Queenie. I'm so annoying. She said, at what point did you realize that you could really do something to grow a platform on your social media? Honestly, my first little viral moment, the adrenaline and like the buzz and like attention was like a very 
Not to sound like, I don't know. That's like human nature, bro. That's human nature. That's like, that's a good feeling to get a good response to something that you create and put out there. So I don't want to come off like, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, when I got that first buzz, I was like, whoa, like people can respond like this to something that I do and I post. Like it was crazy. And um, my first viral moment was last December, not this December. So over a year ago. Wow. After that first moment, um, yeah, I ended up gaining 20,000 followers just off of that one video. And it was just a slow-mo of me like whipping my hair. And you know what? It was all men. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I landed on the wrong side of TikTok. Like they were like beautiful, stunning. Oh my God, amazing. And I was like, ew. But also it was like, whoa. Like it was just something I've never experienced before. <laughs> After that, I just started creating content like that I wanted people to receive like from me, like hair stuff, makeup stuff, and it got crickets, bro. None of the men gave a fuck. That was like my sole audience at that point. None of them gave a fuck crickets, but I knew that it was possible. I knew that that type of like engagement and energy was there. I just had to find the right combo. So I was consistent and it was hard. Like it's very much a roller coaster, lots of highs and lows. Um, a lot of humbling moments, like when you really think you created something that's gonna snap and you're like, period, this is gonna eat, I'm gonna go viral. I and mean, then it's like, you you go to sleep. I go to sleep, I put my phone up, I'm like, I'm not gonna look. Like, I wake up to three views, I'm like. So it's like, <laughs> for me, that first buzz, I was like, I know it's out there. I don't know, I've always wanted to be a creator, but it felt like such a far dream. Like, I can't believe I'm here. Hi. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do one more because I have to get to editing. Where do you want to travel next, content-wise or just for fun? Thanks, Gabriella. I see you, girl. Girl, I want to travel. I want to start traveling for real. Two realistic places I want to travel. I want to go to ATL. I want to go to Atlanta. I want to see what's up in Atlanta. I feel like there's a lot of black greatness there. And I kind of want to be with like, I don't know. I just want to see what the vibe is like and like the roots and like, a lot of my fave content creators are from there. I just want to see what the vibe is about. So if you're from ATL, hey. I also want to go to Toronto. Period. Only recently I've been thinking about that because my management is from Toronto. Um, honestly, didn't really know much about it. Besides like fucking Drake is from there. Is he from there? Is he from Ontario? I don't fucking know. I don't know. The lip looks good though, girl. It's like, are we lying? There's also two makeup artists, two male makeup artists that I've been like, that we've been mutuals for a while. And they're like, let me glam you. And I'm like, your work is absolutely insane. And they thought that are you and my bio stood for Ryerson. Like both of them hit me up and was like, let me know, like you're from Ryerson. Like, let me know when I can glam you like in Toronto. And I'm like, I'm all the way in New Jersey. Like, are you is for Rutgers, babe. So anyway, we've been mutuals for a while. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this clip when we actually meet and they get to do my glam because it's gonna happen. I wanna go to Toronto. But yeah, don't forget to hashtag coffee twack me. And also tell me how you guys like your coffee. Like my rule of thumb is that my coffee needs to be my skin tone or darker or it's too sweet. That looks dark as hell. Anyways, on to the day. We have a full day of editing. Like it's 1 p.m. and I didn't even get started editing the vlog yet. So I'm kind of terrified. Cause the vlog is supposed to go up tomorrow. Like I don't think y'all understand, like I'm scared. So I'm doing this campaign with a brand about vintage like designer bags. Woo! Can I show you guys which ones I got? So I picked three bags. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Like I'm so excited. And like I think I was like crossing my fingers so hard because I was so scared. I don't know, I would have lost the bag somehow because I grew like an attachment to these bags after like a week of like scouting them. Well, maybe you guys will have to just wait to see them in person, but I'll sneak peek it. This first one is a vintage Chanel. Crossbody. Oh my little Chanel crossbody? It's cream and black. Like, this is the one I was most obsessed with and most excited about. Like, all the ones I picked are fire, just so you know. Oh my god, and the picture is so bad. <laughs> it's so, like, blurry. This is a vintage Dior. I think Dior is my favorite designer brand. This one will come in time for Fashion Week. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And the last one I got is Louis Vuitton. Not sure if this one's too vintage. Like I know the first two are vintage. This one might be, I have to check, it, check the year. So we'll see when they come this week. Woo! I told y'all I'd be wearing this shit every day. <laughs> hey, how is it 6 p.m. already? 
Just finished the first round of edits on the vlog. And yeah, it took me 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. for the first round. And this is a pretty light work vlog. Not a lot of layering, but hopefully I'm done that by like 10 p.m. I'll probably be done at midnight, like I said. Okay. <laughs> See, I was done up earlier. Mom. Mom. I don't know what to tell you, girl. <laughs> Saturday night, we make a spaghetti for dinner. I'm hungry. The teacher emailed me yesterday about the clinical warning, like when I missed it. She met me last night at like 10 p.m. when I'm lit. I'm out in the city. And she's like, hey, I just submitted to Canvas your assignment. That's due Sunday. I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm, maybe I can do it after clinical tomorrow, but like, how are you gonna give me two days to do a whole makeup thing? So we'll see. I haven't even looked at what it is, and like, at this point, I'm like, <clears throat> it'll get done when it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, did you want both of them? Or? No, that's for Gabriel. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure, I would say. That one looks better for me, though. She, it's, it's crunchier. I want that one. Oh, wow. There you go, babe. Should I put like, I don't know, I feel like I need to put something else on it. Like yeah, garlic. Like, well, we put cheese on ours. Oh yeah. Well, what? Why are you like, why are you cut me you short? Know, you're like. I want to curl up in bed, man. But I have to finish this vlog and then I'm gonna write the paper tomorrow. Then I'm gonna go to clinical. And when we get back from clin clinical, that's when we can officially chillax. And then there will be a new episode of Euphoria too. It's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> if any of you guys edit, um, it's just a different level of like drain. It's just like weird. I was done at 12.30. The video took 40 minutes to render. And now it's stuck on that 000 screen again. But I need it to export so that I can upload to YouTube so that by Sunday afternoon it will be published. I need these hours. I'm so tired. hour later I want to cry I don't know to do this point like I stayed up so late it's like do I just go to bed this sucks so bad it's 2 30 right now like I was done at 12 30 it's 3 20 I could have like went to bed took a nap woke up grabbed this like if only I knew I was gonna be miserable and tired anyway that's how it goes anyway no matter how much sleep I get, I'm tired anyway, so whatever. I'm so sad, girls. So basically, I stayed up last night for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. I tried to upload the video on my computer. I plug the external in. I'm like, it says uploading. I go to sleep. And then I wake up and I look at the laptop and it says, upload failed. For some reason, I just felt like last night was a waste of my time in so many ways. That's, this is why I do my videos. I'm done my videos by Friday night for a Sunday upload. Cause like, there's always some bullshit. How many times have you said that in the vlog? There's always some bullshit. We're going to clinical today, so I'm just gonna cut all my nails off. 
It was fun while it lasted, but like I hate having my natural nails. Oh, the nubs. I don't think I like almond shape though. I don't know, I can't. I definitely always think coffin's a superior shape though. Oh my God, my hair just kept getting caught underneath them. I'm so glad we're getting rid of these right now. My home Wi-Fi takes 12 hours. And I know that's not how long it should be. I can't believe I fucked that up just by putting it on my computer last night. It's so, so upsetting. I'll just be wallowing in self-pity. <laughs> Honestly guys, the, I re-uploaded the YouTube video and it's at 20% already and it's only been, it's gonna be 10% per hour basically, so it's been almost two hours. Seven, we up at like 7 p.m. That's fine. I gave this Dior lip glow to my mom because she light skinned it, but it looks good on me. It's okay. It looks like she's been using it, so period. And my hair is still so fresh <gasps> from Friday, bitch. Oh my gosh, do I leave it down? Like, no way. Basically, I'm prepping for fashion week. These next four days. I'm feeling just a little overwhelmed today. I have to just do all my homework for the entire week before Thursday. Cause Thursday, me and the girls are doing Galentine's, yay. So I'm basically off the grid there and then Friday we're leaving. So basically like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when we can get our shit done. Um, and Tuesday we have class all day. So like basically we just have Monday, Wednesday and um, Wednesday I have something to do I feel Basically, Monday is the only day I can do everything, which is tomorrow. Um, and also I have a lot of campaign stuff due this week. Dang, I'm about to be a little nursing student again. I'm about to go into patients' room and, rooms and stuff. I haven't done that since like November. I wonder how this floor is gonna be. I just hope the vibes are good. It's like a partial COVID floor. Honestly, no nurses want no students. Some nurses really get the vibe and they're like, yes, I'm gonna use them. Which is also like, okay, don't abuse me. Cause. <laughs> and then some of the other nurses are just like, you're literally just getting in the way of my grind, which I understand both points of view, but just as uncomfortable as a student. It's like, don't hate me. My bed is made. I ate my lunch. I packed my lunch. Like I set myself up for the best day I could possibly have. So the rest of it is out of my hands. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, I should leave in like five minutes. It's 11.30 now. Yeah, I should leave like ASAP. But I'm also just going to brush the brows because they're just too good. Oh my God, they look so good. They look too good not to be just gelled in place. I feel pretty like on time right now. Let me not jinx myself because y'all know how that goes. I'm late. I'm late. 10 minutes. <laughs> Autumn just texted me kisses. Cause I just, I just blew her a kiss. Hey vlog, geez, I feel so out of whack right now. What the hell am I talking about? I placed an order for wings and fries. Ha ha ha. And I feel like that's gonna be my vibe on Sundays. I think Sunday will be my good cheat day and probably a good Friday too. Like Friday and Sunday, you know, whatever. I'm gonna live my best life. I do wanna start going to the gym soon, but anyway. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Just done clinical. Someone had a stroke. Now, it wasn't like 
the movies. It wasn't like the textbooks. It wasn't like what we heard about. But we was just like chilling on the computers, like doing homework and like doing our clinical reflection and stuff. And we hear like, oh, she's unresponsive. She's unresponsive. And like the nurses were just like real casual about it. And like I looked at my classmate and I was like, they must not be talking like her. She's actually unresponsive because they wouldn't just be saying it like that. I'm like, what do you mean? She's, oh, she's unresponsive. So they go into the room and they're like, I'm gonna say her name was Giselle. They're like, Giselle. Giselle, hello, Giselle, Giselle. And I, me and my classmate were like, is she really unresponsive? And like, I thought they were joking. So then she comes out, like kind of people are like shuffling in out the room. It's like a lot of commotion, a lot of chaos going on. Can you tell me, hello? Oh, you scared me there for a second. Like, are you there? And she was like super confused. I'm kind of really like peeking through the room, kind of just looking in there like, Giselle, how we feeling girl? Um, and she was like, yeah, she was she was responsive earlier. Like she was up earlier and I thought she was just sleeping, but she was like unresponsive. So then a couple of minutes go by and then the physician, which is like the, her doctor comes in her white coat and she's like looking around, kind of just like scrambling. It's just a lot of scramble. Then we hear a fucking call over like the whole intercom and it's like stroke unit to the PCU room, this, 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 to this, this, this. And I was like, oh my God, that's us. That's us right here. I don't, I didn't really know what was going on and like the urgency, like it was chaotic, but it was also very relaxed. And I was just like, yo, this woman is, ha is having a stroke right in my car. Oh my God, please. So I don't know. I wish I was more in the action, but like, obviously I was not qualified to be doing anything in that situation. That was kind of crazy. Other than that, I, we literally saw one patient. Like it was just really lax. It was just really laxed. So now I'm on my way home and I'm just going to get hella work done. I have like a headache and I just want some good food. So. That's the vibe right now. Maybe if he met Cassie when he was a sophomore this, instead of Maddie. It's the cheese for me. It's the fries for me. It's the, the hot ass wings for me. It's the euphoria for me. How could he? There's no fucking it's way. Like <laughs> I just ate all this right now. It's not like you have a choice. There's no way. But if you do. I wish I didn't look like this half the time. Just filled out my agenda. All the purple is like, purple means, it's like a magenta actually. Magenta means schoolwork and I have 10 assignments. I honestly like to get as much as I can done today because I don't know what the week brings. Like, like you never know. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna be today. I really like waking up early though. I wish like, yeah. As far as I know right now, I have both my classes tomorrow. I have a feeling one of them is gonna be canceled. Like there's supposed to be a chance of rain tonight. I'm gonna be like, actually we're shutting down the whole campus, which like, listen, I'm not complaining, but it's just funny how they always be doing that. Okay, Thursday we're doing Galentine's Day, which I think I'm gonna open the next vlog with. It'll be like Galentine's and New York Fashion Week. And we're gonna get each other shot glasses because if you guys have watched the vlogs, the shot glasses we use are so ghetto. Like, I think those are my mom's like that she's collected throughout the years. Like, we all decided to buy each other like a really nice cute shot glass. I guess we'll just keep them here. I'm either gonna get on your Ari and we get them like maybe a little flower because I love flowers. Flowers make me feel so cute. Like, I like, I think flowers are a really good gift. It means like, love you. Maybe some chocolates, maybe like a little bottle of rose. I remember the red dress. I'm gonna wear her and I bought some stockings with like a red lip. Here he is. Oof, I'm sorting out all my thoughts with you guys for 10 minutes. Like, you guys don't care. <laughs> this is the school vibes though. Look, y'all, I got the glass straws. Like, and they're long from Amazon. <gasps> Very satisfying. Okay, so I just washed my hair. Ooh. So I'm about to do my hair just so it's done for the week. Y'all know how I like to do my hair. Like, I'd rather just do it once or twice a week and just have it done. Okay, so before I blow dry my hair this time, I'm gonna take this Tresemme One Step Smooth 5-in-1 Smoothing Cream. And Tresemme came out with a line with a few different One Step products that are good for like all different hair types. And I'm taking the smooth one because it's really good at controlling frizz, giving the shine. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my gosh.
gosh it smells like a fresh flower it gives me like ocean breeze it's giving me like peaceful lily of the valley in the flower field yeah and also this is heat protectant like i love me a five in one where like i don't have to build up a lot of product to get the results i need so i'm gonna take this through my hair focusing it more so on the ends just because my roots like i don't want the product build up there trust me also has the one step wave one which i spray in my hair before my robe curls this one and it's also really good for anti fr anti frizz um, it has a light hold so like it's not like i have to put hairspray or like product in my hair and like it still feels like natural and air dried you know what i'm saying oh my god i can't wait to have a fresh blowout and this stuff smells so good <laughs> the girls are texting me right now because we did we're doing the galentine secret santa and there's only three of us so it's like <laughs> it's just funny that's like a 50 50 chance that like each of them has one or the other Oh, I can tell you who I got. Oh, I got Ani. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna get her like a little sweet package. So that means that like Ani got, no, see, I'm trying to break the code out. Let me stop, let me stop. hydrated but it's not heavy and, oh and it's shiny but it's not oily like it's like the perfect in between i can already tell it's gonna last so well i'm obsessed i'm obsessed it's not the hair is laid i need to go lay these edges that's like the final touch no because the hair really does look so laid No, nah, but Trust Me has always had those products, y'all. So I don't know about y'all, but I've used Trust Me products my whole life. And this new One Step collection really is giving what it needs to. So yeah, I love this smooth one for when I do blowouts. So I highly recommend you guys go check that out. Like no matter what your hair type is or what type of vibe you're going for, I'm sure they have a product for you. So now that we're done the hair, I'm deciding if I want to eat first or if I want to film the makeup campaign because I want to eat in peace without lashes and lip gloss on but also I feel like I would be more productive if I got it out the way before I ate. I'm in the middle of filming for this foundation. Guys, it's such a beautiful foundation. I'm gonna do some blush, concealer, and I think I'm just gonna do mascara and like maybe some highlight just so the skin is really giving to finish this campaign. But this one? I put this on last vlog. This one's cool brown from Anastasia. Look how good it is on my skin color. Oh, it's such a good natural color for me. I was gonna do lipstick, but I think I should just do this gloss, right? You know, it's giving natural. We're gonna give natural for this look. I'm gonna take just a little bit of concealer. Uh, here I go again. I always freaking say that when I'm doing a light makeup look, I'm like, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, like, so annoying. I'll just take this under my eyes. Normally I would take it on my T-zone and stuff. You know what? I never do makeup on my YouTube. I did that one everyday makeup tutorial two months ago at this point. But all my beauty stuff is like on TikTok. I usually do everyday moments for you guys. I also have the studio lights on. Can you guys tell like it's extra bright? This is the about face highlight I was talking about last video. I'm gonna just start doing one dot because I think I always do too much when I do like two or three. You don't really need that much. It just gives a gives you some life. I was about to say a little. <laughs> I've been loving this YSL mascara. Y'all saw me try it for the first time. 
I ended up doing makeup first before lunch, so right after I finish this, I'm gonna go make my sandwich. Wow. Wow. The lashes. Cute, guys. I'm productive today. Perb. Purr, 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 purr. Can I show you guys what I've been working on? Oh my god, my mustache. I need to shave that bitch. I'm only done two out of the like 900 <laughs> topics. But basically, for every question that I got wrong, I have to do like three critical points on like why I got wrong and like what's the right answer. So this is what I've done so far. And these are just the headers for the next categories. And like each of those headers has like at least 10 questions, like 10 topics. So I have like, this will probably be like 20 pages long when I'm done. Like I'm glad I started that because that's like the biggest homework that I have. It's due Sunday and it's Monday. But then I look at my agenda book and I only have one thing checked off. Like I'm confusion. I think I'm gonna just check in with y'all tomorrow morning because I feel like this vlog is long. I always say this. Not that I'm spoiling the Galentines. Like, okay, I understand that if you do the math, you can understand who got who because there's only three of us. I thought we all knew that we weren't gonna spoil it or try to figure it out. <laughs> it's fine, we'll just act surprised. I think we should just start leaving five hours before class starts. Like, what? How does this always happen? I just thought we were fucking past this. I just thought we were past this. Like, it was literally so hot last night. Y'all just gonna, I'm just gonna wake up. I don't have any washer fluid. I don't have any washer fluid. So I can't spray this. Like nothing. And I literally can't see. I'm gonna be late again. I'm so confused. Like I wake up. I'm, what the fuck am I doing in the house? Like, do I just pour my juice on my windshield? Is that stupid? I don't know what to do. I see it's trying to defrost. I see you. Like, I wake up an hour before class. It's only 20 minutes away. Like, doesn't that seem like a reasonable amount of time? And you can see through this way more than I can. Like, I can't see through this. Fuck. Alright, I'll see you at class. I'm here at exactly 8. I hate that shit. I'm not a late person, I swear. Am I a late person? I feel like I'm pretty good at like time management. I don't know, y'all see me be late one too many times. I'm starting to doubt myself. Beautiful day. Hopefully the girls have a seat for me because they're trying to hold down the table. <laughs> but like the class is full, so hopefully they can fight off the demons for me. I like this room so much better. Just type. No, I'm stuttering. Go. <laughs> <laughs> really? Did y'all take typing class when you were a little Yes, yeah, I, I love that shit. And I never learned yeah. to type properly. I forget. You be actually. typing like some lightning or queen though. Like, my computer teacher. I think I just got used to it. Like my wrong way how to do it. <clears throat> how do you not use your pinky? Actually, I don't know. That was funny. No. Oh God. I started getting stressed. Oh, when I, I don't know, but you I watched like the whole I, thing. I also recent one. Okay. You like did a transition? Okay. And I was like, hey. Dude, that was first. That was like a dream collab for me. That was big for me. Really? Is that why you really took your time? Yeah. I don't know if you know Anastasia. Is that your name? Is that your own name? You did Anastasia? Hell yeah, dude. That oh was my like my God. dream brand. That's insane. Did yeah. I work for them? I love typing class. We played like the Zoom Beanies. Did you guys ever play that? Like we used to play like that game. No, we had like magic keys or something. We'd be like the dancing, like type of animal. We had to like play the song, but we got like the things right. Yeah, I love that class. It's where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You get to like find her in the world. Kind of, but like you have to like ask people questions and it leads you to her, and like eh, it was fun. That was an entire. Day. Like that was a full day. 
I'm surprised I'm still like chilling. Like I'm still alive. I'm still good. Like we're still like I still want to finish. Like I'm excited to finish my homework when I get home because <laughs> I'm so close to being done. The assignment's almost 12 pages of like all the work, the remediations. Um, I got a fucking ticket. This is what I get for being late because then like, oh, it sucks. Cause like I don't have time to like fend for my life and find parking and walk all the way to school. Like that's what I get for being late, bruh. Like not paying for a meter is usually like 35 bucks. So I parked in that lot. <laughs> and the ticket was $75. Like they are getting their money's worth, man. That's so, f that's, that's fucked up. No one is ever paying $75 for parking, bro. That's insane. Like, what do I do if I just don't pay for it? Like, how does that work? Damn, they got my make, my model, the license plate, and they gave my they gave me that shit at 10 a.m. Well, good thing it's 4 p.m. Like, I got my day's worth of parking. Like, I understand. Like, it's their fault because, damn, they make the part they make the paying for it so confusing. Like, and you got a ticket too, which is funny. It's not funny, but like, <laughs> it was good hanging out with my girls though, bro. They have me cracking up like it was just one of those laughs that like I was literally crying and like I like I had like a tickle in my stomach because like I couldn't stop laughing like everything was just so funny so we have the test next week that I'm coming straight from New York straight to class so uh we'll see how my energy is then I'm gonna get my oil check I'm gonna go get my oil change tomorrow on my car and get like air in my tires to prepare for this long journey to New York. My first drive to New York. It's gonna be like a good two hour drive. Um, and also in the city, like, chill out, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so dead. Oh my gosh, I'm fried. My brain is fried. So this is what I did in the past two days. I'm pretty proud of it. It's my work. I got 14 pages, that's what I did. I've been working on. It's kind of crazy. I just finished period, and that was like my big one that was due Sunday. So basically, I just have to do like all my other 20 little assignments, and I just try to finish the post quiz. I just can't do. It. I just can't. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so dead. It's gonna be worth it when I'm in New York and like I don't have any work hounding me because I got it done. So I'm gonna do some editing tonight. I'm gonna finish editing some things tonight so that tomorrow I can just, damn, I have so much that I still have to do. <laughs> I can't even formulate a sentence for you guys. I'm trying, <sighs> hold on, hold on. If this is the end of the vlog, y'all better like and subscribe help a girl out y'all was really interacting with the last video that made me so happy you guys definitely want to subscribe so you can tune into the next video which is going to be miss fashion week we're going to be all things new york i just love being in new york i feel like myself when i'm there i just can't wait to be there um and i'm not going to put so much pressure on myself you know what i'm saying this is my first little fashion week it's a february fashion week it's not as crazy as a september one so I'm gonna just put some outfits together that make me feel good. And that's really what fashion is, is just expressing yourself on what makes you feel good in your style. So I'm not gonna put no pressure on it. I'm just gonna have fun and meet up with some friends and go to some shows and go to some events. And I'm just gonna try to enjoy it because life is too short. So we're gonna have a fun ass time. I already know. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna unlock the baddie because we're very much nurse shell right now that's how i'm feeling and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i can't wait for the next one so i'll see you guys next time Bye.